Just like I said, it's not just a birthday party. It's not about me in that type right. of way. Yeah, give people a good time. Right. Yeah, right. that's what I want to do. I want people to come up like, wow, look at this. So she is turning 40, 40. No intro, just jump in. Just jump right in there. Celebrate your birthday. Yeah, yeah I am. Um, as people have been saying, welcome to the fourth floor. Fourth floor? Like I've never heard of that. Fourth floor? Say, is there your fourth floor? Is your your forties now? Your if you're ninety, floor. you're on the ninth. You're floor? on the ninth floor. Yeah. So that's what I've seen people making that comment. Welcome to the fourth floor. It's great here. <laughs> so somebody who's not even Jersey Spore, he's not. He's in the basement. I guess he's not even on the first floor. Yeah, yet. they haven't left the um, the basement for sure. They're not even. They're not ten. The kids at all. So she's turning forty, and I. You want to tell people about your big party? She had a, you had a big party planned. I guess we can call it big party. But, um, yeah, like celebration I celebration of forty a celebration. This is my I don't think I've had a party or a celebration in this way since like my mom or dad threw me one. like literally since I think the last party I remember having, I was 12, ten. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, every ten year old should have a good party. Yeah, no, yeah. I really think that's the last party I remember. I was ten years old because wow. it was still at the time that we were in my mom and dad were like together in the same house. so I, mm-hmm. I see I remember the picture. I remember that house, and I'm like, no, I'm I mean, it was 10. 10 years mm-hmm. was the last party I had. So, so that's almost 30 years of not having parties. She's making up for it with this party. <laughs> yeah, well, I think after that, um, you know, I wouldn't say that it wasn't celebrated. Like, it was like, yeah, happy birthday. You might do cake, whatever, but you do stuff with family. You might go, maybe you go to a fun place or amusement place, but I never, I didn't have like a party, mm-hmm. you know, where you get presents and stuff like that. I'm not getting presents here either. I'm not saying that. <laughs> That's weird. I'm 40. I don't need people showing up with presents to the party for me. Um, I'm more saying like, this is the first time that I'm really like, no, I'm going to like celebrate this. I'm going mm-hmm. to do something. I'm going to plan. I plan something. There's like how many people? Yeah. I, I, I don't have an exact number yet, but I think we're going to land around 75. 75 people? Yeah. Wow, what do you guys think? That's a big party, right? You think so? It's a p- big party, but <laughs> it also sounds like a fun night for people. And I think a lot of people want something fun to do. Yeah. And if they like, oh, I'm going to this birthday party, and that's going to be fun. That's a fun... They want to celebrate your birthday, but they also want to it's have fun. It's for the fun. Let's be honest. Right. If, if I will decide what I'm going to do based on if it's going to be fun for me. You know what I mean? If it, okay, where's this birthday at? Okay, yeah. if it's something that I want to do, then great. And it's their birthday party, but it's something fun for me. But this is this is truly the reason why I said I, when I decided that I wanted to have a 40th birthday party, I didn't want to just do something like, oh, let's just celebrate on me. Let's put pictures of me all over the place. And I'm like, I'm like, no, it's not. I'm having a birthday celebration, but it's not about, oh, let's just look at pictures of her and let's look right. at Ami, Ami, Ami. Like, I don't. I'm throwing a celebration to have people come and celebrate with me, not necessarily about me. Like, come have some fun with mm-hmm. me. Like, I'm I'm doing this. I'm I'm making an experience. Like, basically, my party is an Afrobeats. Africa to ATL theme birthday party type of thing. So I want people to like come and have fun, like do something different. That's mm-hmm. the whole, that's really why I'm like do something different. It's not the usual just go to a club and dance and you know go home. You know, yeah, it's something different. You know, I'm going to have the um, you know from the girls old school old Montessori from the kids mm-hmm. old Montessori mm-hmm. the African dance group that they were doing. Oh, okay, yeah, I remember they're that. They're coming. Okay, to that's perform cool. um, upon entry, so people getting out their Ubers and okay. cars. Do, 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 that's, that's what you were going to cool. get out to. All right, all right. You know, like I said, I wanted to be an experience. Like this is something different than what you know. It's not just like I said. It's not just a birthday party. It's not about me in that type right. of way. Yeah, give people a good time. Right. Yeah, right. that's what I want to do. I want people to come up like, wow, look at this, and they're seeing things they're not used to seeing. Yeah, I wouldn't. I don't want to name names, but we went to a birthday party recently for a kid and they wanted us to do like uh you know testimonials for this kid and i was just like we're here to have fun like we don't want to talk they're probably gonna see this we don't we don't want to talk to the camera they're about probably gonna see this. well they're not gonna see it but basically they, it was basically like yeah come tell us about how great we are for our birthday and it's like well no to be fair they wanted us to tell the kid how great he was or right. how he could be great or something. Yeah. I don't know. I and don't these people remember. live in Florida, so I'm like, I barely even know you. Like, we're here for a little trip. Like, don't we really don't see you. We don't yeah. even know you like that. But anyhow, so the question I have is, like, how do you feel? Uh, you know, it's a big deal. Like, getting out of your 30s into the 40s. Like, yeah. how do you feel okay. about being 40? I'm going to tell you this in stages. One, I'm super excited stepping into it because of the way I'm doing it. Like I said, this okay. experience for people. Right. Like, I really think people are going to be like, 
have an amazing time, you know, from the, the what they're going to see, the culture, to having okay. everybody dressed in a certain way, to the music that people are going to enjoy, mm-hmm. to the food. You know, I'm not having a sit down dinner. Like I said, it's not that, that type of party, but I'm getting little appetizers of Nigerian mm-hmm. stuff, you know, jollof rice and little dessert cups. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. Meat pie. So you just a little bit, just a little, so people to get a taste of. Do you think a lot of African American people do not have experience with African jollof food? rice? Probably. Like everybody's right. at least tried. I think mm-hmm. has at least tried jollof rice. But there's so many other things. Like you know, that's like you saying, um, you know, you've had a lot of German food. You mm-hmm. probably haven't, mm-hmm. just because it's not your usual. You know, you don't see a German restaurant like, oh, there's German restaurants everywhere around here. Let's just go to one. So it's just not the usual. Even though it exists, you can find one. You can sure find, you know, Nigerian or African restaurants. But people, that's not their first thought of where to go to. Right. And I'll be honest, most of them are not a vibe. (laughs) Right. So maybe people (laughs) will enjoy the vibe and the experience and they'll want to embrace more of that. Even if they don't want to, they'll enjoy the night. Right, or they'll enjoy the night. For sure, for sure, it'll be something different. I think, like I said, that's the biggest thing is making it something different than the usual Friday night club activity in Atlanta or in wherever. Just Mm -hmm. something different. I really think people are going to like, this was fun. That's why I'm going to walk around like, wow, this was fun and different. That's Mm -hmm. If people walk away with that, I'm good. Even though I remember that it was my birthday celebration, I really want people to walk away with, this was fun and different. Right. That's it. That's all I think I'm it will be. For. Yeah. yeah. So. so one, I'm excited because of the way I'm stepping into it. Two, for a while, I think I told you I was feeling some type of way about forty. Like I kept being excited, but then I'm like, oh my gosh, it's forty. Mm-hmm. But then being excited and being like, oh, I'm getting older. But then being excited and then being, you know, I kept going. I just think. Um- <laughs> The older we live, the happier we should be because we're still here. You know, the whole point of li- the living is to keep living. It's like, that's what I've realized. It's like the whole point of life is just keep trying to keep living. And obviously, you have to find a way to be happy through that and try to find Living joy. your best life. Right. You, you, you want to you wanna be happy at 40, 50. And it, it can be a struggle. I've talked about it before. I think for adults, for me, it, it can be a little bit of a, a struggle. But for children, it's great. That's why you want your children to have a good childhood mm-hmm. because they're going to, you know, they want, you know, childhood is the best because, like, that's why people reminisce on their childhood and they have nostalgia because it was great. Mm-hmm. Kids will find a way to be happy. It's amazing. Yeah. And so I think as adults, as we get into our 40s and 50s, and 60s, if we're still here, then we should be celebrating <laughs> more and more. You're like, I'm still here, you know, so. Well, that's what kind of turned me on the up and down was like. If it's 40, that means I lived 40 years. If it's yeah. 50, that means I lived 50 years. If it's 60, it's like, whoa, no, it's totally like, it's fine. Like, you're supposed to get older because that's how things go. If you're not getting older, number wise at least, then you're not here anymore. That's right. So. Well, also, you know, you're 40, but I mean, you look great. So, 40 is 40 not old. No, but a lot of people at 40 are falling apart at, at 28. Yeah. You know, like, like I, I try to look really good. And so it's like, I, I think the self-respect you have and the dignity when you look good, it's just like, wow, I'm 40 and like, I look great. I'm, pr- I'm proud of that. Whereas it being 40 and like, man, I look way better when I was 24 because I let myself go. Yeah. And, and, and also I think it's about having some, I don't even want to say self-esteem, but not giving up on your life yet because you still have so much to live. I think mm. some people at 40 are like, oh, I'm tired. I, you know, the kids wear me out. I'm like, yeah, we all, I get tired. Well, they do. Kids, wear, <laughs> they kids wear me out. But I'm just saying like, then I realized, wow, I still have so much life to live. Hopefully, hopefully I live yeah. another 40 years. Right. I don't want to be tired now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like I got, I might have double this time left. Right. So I got to keep right. finding the thing to make me still, you know, do that. So that's really for me, and and I've been like this for a while in my life, which I'm grateful for because it keeps me more here for most for the most part than here. Like I have mm-hmm. my moments, but for the most part, I'm I'm up here because I'm just like, man, I could have a long time left on this earth. Like I don't want to look back, or I want want to spend a lot of the time not having been happy, yeah, or not having at least attempted to be happy. Let's put it that way, because maybe. I'm not happy about something, but at least I attempted it. It was something that I thought would make me happy. Mm -hmm. But other than that, like, I think the only thing that's going to get me going forward is every little symptom is going to make me feel like it's something. (laughs) You know? Oh, is that a... Is my are my lymph nodes swollen? Yeah. Like 
that type of thing. That's the, it might take some time for me to get past that and just realize, dude, it all, you were 39 yesterday. You're 40 today. Does it mean right. suddenly? Yeah, I mean, I told a story about that. If you're on YouTube, you can watch the, um, we'll link it, about when I thought I had colon cancer and it was, it was hemorrhoids. But basically, I'm, I'm in my 40s and that's, I just like. That's, that's still an, an aging thing. Basically doing a lot of squats and a lot of pressure on my core. Um, I gave myself hemorrhoids and, you know, I was. I was bleeding, and but I'm like, like oh, "Can we not recount?" Yeah, but, but, I'm just, but I'm just like the whole reason I'm well, saying it, is hemorrhoids. the whole reason I gave myself hemorrhoids, but because I'm in my forties, I thought it was cancer. Like right away, I'm like, "Oh man, I I got colon cancer. I'm gonna I'm gonna die in a few months." I mean, so that's what you're going to think in your forties. You can look up something, and if you go to WebMD, like stay away from there because it they ma- it makes you feel like it's like yeah. term like whatever you have is going to be so bad in a couple <laughs> months, and really it's not. I mean, well, some <laughs> it could some, be for some but, people it is, but uh, for I mean, we're as healthy as we can. Be. I, I think that like if we get something, our body's gonna know well in advance. And, like it's not gonna be. I a- think it's the jumping to conclusions that affects you because it's like you being older doesn't suddenly mean that now that thing is cancer. It's the paranoia that comes yeah. with getting Well, that older. comes with the uh, age. Yeah. yeah. That's really yeah. what it is. It's not as if, like I said, dude, I'm 39 today. I'm 40 tomorrow. Mm-hmm. My body didn't suddenly say, oh, you're 40 now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Time to quit. Yeah. So it's in your own head. It's like, oh, man, now I'm 40. It's like, oh, I got an itch in the back of my throat yesterday. What happened? Yeah. So it's the paranoia. But in that said, I do feel like once you get over a certain hump, you should not even necessarily do more things to take care of yourself, but also do the things you didn't want to do in your 30s, like regularly visit the doctor for checkups and crap like that. Things that I'm like, okay, you know, I finally addressed my dental issue, like things like that. Because I was like, it's not bothering me. It doesn't matter. I'm like, no, you really should get it fixed before it starts bothering you. Well, you you know, after you're 35, your body doesn't produce the minerals and vitamins that it does naturally Mm -hmm. before that age. So if you're not getting it from food, then like your body's going to start to slowly deteriorate because if it needs more calcium and you're not making calcium, then it's going to use what it has. And then it's going to deplete yourself. And then like when you need it, you don't have it. 